Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 23 and in this tutorial we are going to continue talking about selectors in CSS and I'm actually going to talk about the child selectors specifically. Now uh, if you guys don't know what I mean by child selector then uh, basically I mean elements inside of other elements okay so in other words uh, let's say I had a div over here and let me just end this off and then I had a paragraph inside of this div so uh, end off this paragraph and we'll just say um, basically like I have a parent and then outside this div we'll just say uh, we'll put in another paragraph and this one can just say I don't have a parent div and this one should actually say I have a parent div okay and uh, basically what this means is that this paragraph is a child of this div element because uh, basically this paragraph is inside of that div uh, likewise this paragraph does not have a parent div because it is not inside a div at all. Okay, um, you, you basically get the picture. Like as long as you've got an element inside of another element, then that is its parent. So this paragraph has a parent, uh, which is this div, and this div has a parent, which is the body. And this paragraph has a parent, it's the body, but it doesn't have a div as a parent. Okay, so now whenever I jump over to CSS and I want to style these paragraphs uh, and I only wanted to style paragraphs inside of the div, then I could go ahead and uh, do that using a child selector. And what I mean by child selector, uh, well, I don't know why I said that twice, but whenever you want to style with a child selector, you are going to uh, type in the parent's name first, so div and then p in this case because uh, our parent is the div and then the child is the paragraph and that's what we actually want to style. So if you want to go ahead and style with the child selectors, you're going to type the parent's name and then the actual uh, element that you want to style. So let's go ahead and turn all paragraphs inside of a div red. So I'm going to go ahead and type in color red. Okay. And, and now that I've done that, if I run this in Firefox, I should get two paragraphs on the screen. Uh, there we go. So uh, one is red because this has a parent div and this one does not have a parent div. Uh, so that one did not turn red. Okay, and uh, the nice thing about this is CSS, whenever you're styling, will take the uh, longer description uh, whenever you're trying to style an element. So because this uh, div p is more accurate than if I had just styled with a p or with a paragraph uh, tag, then it'll still turn all of these paragraphs that are inside of divs red even if I have another um, styling rule that is set to turn all paragraphs blue. Okay, uh, so let's go back here and when I click refresh you can see that it's turned all the normal paragraphs blue but the paragraphs that would still have a div as a parent will still turn red because um, CSS like I said will choose the uh, more descriptive name or yeah basically this is more accurate because it has the actual parents name and then the the child's name so you can go ahead and style that way and um, Another thing that I'd like to mention though is if you are ever going to have both of these paragraphs inside of a div, so let's say that um, you were creating another div around this paragraph, uh, then 
both of them now have a parent div, okay? So that means that um, if you wanted them to be different colors, you're going to have to combine classes or IDs uh, with the actual uh, child elements. So let me show you guys how to do that. So I'll go ahead and give this one a class of red and I'll give the next one a class of um, blue. So just set that equal to blue. And uh, basically now whenever I select class red, actually I think I'm going to give this an ID of blue just to demonstrate that you can do it with both ID and class. Um, so whenever you want to select um, children with a class, then you can go ahead and select your class of red, then select the element that you want to style. So basically all paragraphs that have a parent with the class red will turn red. And uh, what do you know? Over here we have a paragraph and it's got a parent div that has the class red. So this one should still stay uh, red. And now that I think about it, if I go and refresh, nothing's actually going to change. So um, let's give this next class uh, or next ID a class of ye, uh, green rather, just so that we actually get the color to change. Okay. And uh, basically, if you want to select with parents and children or IDs with children with IDs as parents. There we go. That's probably the better explanation. Then you could go ahead and just go hashtag um, and then put in the ID. So the ID was green and then select your child element that you would like to uh, style, which in this ca case is our paragraph. And now all paragraphs that have a parent with the ID of green should turn uh, green. So let's go ahead and just change that. Okay. And what you know, the second paragraph over here has a div with a parent uh, or has a parent div with the ID of green. So now when I go ahead and click refresh, I get my paragraph turning green. Okay. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.